Report. I'm Anthony Ramella. Here at the Vapors Report, we provide you with the news you want to know. Megan will take a first look at the Panda by Vupu, and every week we keep our head in the clouds and our finger on the pulse. So if you enjoy our show, please subscribe and hit that like button below. Thanks for watching. This week's top story, a rose by any other name. Jed Rose is probably a name that none of you have ever heard of, but he's been studying the effects of nicotine since the 1970s. Jed is a professor of psychiatry and behavioral science, and he currently works as the director at the Duke Center for Smoking Cessation. Jed also helped to invent the nicotine patch and the popular stop smoking drug, Chantix. Following alarming media reports and public pressure, the FDA has been cracking down on teen vaping. Last September, the agency issued more than 1,000 warning letters to U.S. retailers and e-cigarette manufacturers in what the agency called the largest coordinated enforcement effort in FDA's history. In the letters, the agency demanded that these companies present proof that they can keep nicotine-containing products out of the hands of minors within 60 days. Should they fail to do so, the FDA may ban candy-like flavors. Jed Rose is skeptical about the agency's recent claims and actions, and he even went as far to say that e-cigarettes are one of the most promising developments in the field of smoking cessation. Currently, over 500,000 Americans die every year from smoking-related disease, and cigarette smoking imposes completely unacceptable burdens of death and disease. Jed also pointed out that smokers are not only addicted to nicotine, but to the physical act of smoking. This is why e-cigarettes are an effective tool, because they mimic the action of smoking. He went on to say that we've done studies where we've intravenously administered smokers with the same dose of nicotine that they would get from a cigarette and found that this doesn't satisfy their craving. On the other hand, if they smoke a denicotized cigarette, their cravings are relieved quite a bit. Rose added that unlike cigarette alternatives as nicotine gum or patches, E-cigarettes replace the physical motion of smoking and hence makes the transition from smoking to not smoking an easier one. The only question I have for the FDA is why are they putting all the pressure on e-cigarette manufacturers to keep nicotine out of the hands of minors and no pressure on big tobacco? At this time, there has been no deaths from e-liquid use and the FDA needs to stop worrying about the splinter in my eye when they've got a 2 by 4 in their own eye. Now Megan looks like there's something she wants to tell us about and that means it must be time for the juice of the week. Well, Anthony, if you're looking for a whole lot of lemon and lime, then look no further than Citrus Burst E-Liquid. This incredible new flavor has the perfect blend of sweet meat sour to satisfy even the biggest lemon lime lover. But that's not all. Citrus Burst is not only lemon lime flavor, but it also has a strong citrus sherbet flavor as well. If you like lemon lime candy flavored vape, then you've got to try this one. But be warned, once you do, you'll keep coming back for more. To get a bottle of Citrus Burst at a great price, check out Vapors1.com. And now, back to the studio. Thanks, Megan. In other vaping news, is there really a youth vaping epidemic or have young people found a healthier alternative? The young adult smoking rate is at an all-time low of 10%, which is more than a 20% drop in just a year. In 2017, 10% of young Americans smoked cigarettes, according to the latest data from Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. That marks a 45% decrease since 2011. At that time, nearly one in five young adults smoked. Young adults are at the highest risk to start smoking cigarettes because about 99% of adult smokers start the habit before the age of 26. In line with most anti-smoking researchers, such as Dr. Farsalonis and Jed Rose, think that the claims that there is a vaping epidemic is a huge exaggeration. Jed Rose states that this so-called epidemic has to be weighed against the 500,000 deaths every year that could be avoided by using e-cigarettes. Currently, the Duke Center for Smoking Cessation is doing an e-cigarette trial, which seems to be yielding positive results, and hence, there's good reason to believe that vaping can help people quit smoking. At The Vapors Report, we know that vaping is saving lives every day, and because many of you want to keep on vaping, it's time to tell you about a great new device. So let's see what Megan's got for us this week. Well, Anthony, this week we will take our first look at the Panda from Vupu. 
The Panda is a stylish pod device that is powered by 1100 milliamp hour internal battery. In the kit, you will receive your Panda Mod, a cable for charging, and two pods. The Panda Pods hold a whopping 5 mils of e-liquid and are available in either 1.2 ohm or 0.8 ohm, so you can choose the one that's right for you. To fill the pods, simply remove the rubber plug on the bottom and squeeze in your e-liquid. After filling a new pod, let it sit for about 10 minutes to let the cotton get fully saturated. Five clicks of the fire button turns the device on or off, and to replace the pods, simply drop it in and replace the top. The Panda has a rubberized coating that gives you the perfect amount of grip. And, for those of you who like lanyards, Vupu designed a spot on the bottom that makes one easy to clip on. With great color options, a 5 mil juice capacity, and outstanding build quality, the Vupu Panda is a must for any vapor who enjoys pod-style devices. So pick up one today at vaporsone.com. And now for someone who looks like a panda who's lost his fur, back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Megan. It's that time again at the Vapors Report for A Minute with Ramella. In this week's Minute, we want to tell you about another vapor store opening in Holland, Ohio. The new location will open at the beginning of November, and with the addition of this location, Vapors now has six locations to serve you, as well as VaporsOne.com. The new store will offer a tasting bar and more than 250 flavors of e-liquid to choose from. In addition to their very knowledgeable staff, they have a large selection of devices and tanks, so you can be sure that you'll get exactly the vaping experience that you're looking for. Whether you're a veteran of vaping or a complete rookie, the great people at Vapors will help you get everything you ever wanted at a price that makes the competition weep. The bottom line is, if you're not shopping at Vapors, you probably paid too much. And after just one visit, when you think the best, you'll think Vapors. Here at the Vapors Report, we want you to make the switch. And we are dedicated to helping people make better choices. So tune in next week for more great news at the same vape time, same vape channel. I'm Anthony Ramella. Thank you and good night. I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this.